Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today, or over the next 48 hours, I'm going to be taking part in the David Goggins 4x4x48 challenge. So again, this was inspired by David Goggins, former US Navy SEAL, ultra distance runner. He set all kinds of records. He held the, the pull-up world record for a while, most pull-ups in 24 hours. We'll cut to a clip now of him explaining the challenge because you're better than the man himself. All right, it's time of year again, the second annual 4x4x48. For some of you who don't know what that is, basically you run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. As you just heard, it's running four miles every four hours for 48 hours. So it works out as 48 miles and 48 hours. So um, you are supposed to start the challenge the same time as him, but because of uh, my work schedule, I'm having to start a little bit early. It's still the 5th of March, and I will be starting my first run at uh, 1200. So exactly on midday, then that will really lead me to the 12, 4, 8, and then repeating the cycle over until finishing my final run on the 7th of March, Sunday the 7th of March, at 1200 hours. Until then, we're probably going to burn around 10,000 calories. Uh, my coaches devised the perfect plan for me. Hopefully, the master plan of uh, my nutrition, my sleep schedules, my warm ups, and my cool downs. So, this should go well without a hitch. Obviously, really don't know what to expect from this, but we are going to give it a go. Okay, just going to get ready now for my first run in 15 minutes. Also guys, I should mention that I am doing this to raise money for charity as well. It's for the Light Body Health Foundation who organise walk and talk groups for people suffering with mental illness around Merseyside and I'm looking to expand into greater regions as well. So what I'll do is I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, the Just Give page will be there and please donate whatever you can. Thank you very much. On with the video. Right, so just about to head out on my first run now. Just gone 12 o'clock on the 5th of March. Right, so there's run number one complete. Uh, total time is four miles in 38 minutes, 38 seconds. Average heart rate of 136. Right, now time to refuel. So guys, I just woke up from a nap about 20 minutes ago. Um, Got about 50 minutes of a nap. I'm just trying to get all my sleep in early just to make it a little bit easier going into the night. It's currently um, 15.56, which means that we've got about four minutes before we're ready to set off again for run number two. Just filled, uh, just got my G1M Sport filled up there, so I'm gonna be drinking that when I'm on my run to get my salts in, make sure I'm staying hydrated as we start getting into the later runs. Right, let's go and get it. So guys, I'm not long back off run number two. So that's eight miles down now. Um, the total time on that one was 38 minutes, 22 seconds. Holly there, keeping me company. Um, 522 calories burnt. Average heart rate, 137. Average pace, five minutes, 56 per kilometer. So pretty much dead on the last one, even though it was a little bit faster. It's only about one second per kilometer faster. So nice steady pace that we're gonna keep on now into, into the later runs. So just a little bit about my recovery after each run. So I spend about five to 10 minutes just foam rolling. I've just got a dead standard basic foam roller. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is just loosen up the muscles. Um, and not necessarily like damage and, and bruise them uh, as, as much. And then I'll just have a little stretch. And then after that, it's just about getting that recovery time in, having a little mental break before I start the, the pre-run um, pre schedule, which is about 30 minutes before the, the next run. I can get it done in 15 like I did last time though, but so let's just get some foam rolling done, a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> to go on run number three um, it's currently 19.58 as you can see it switched into something a little bit brighter so that I can be seen because it currently is dark out so this is the beginning of the night runs now obviously after this one it'll be the 12 and then four in the morning 
So I'm feeling good at this point. Uh, refueled a lot for dinner. So let's crack on and get going. So I've just finished run number three. Um, four miles, average pace, 6.17 per kilometer. Uh, total time, 40 minutes, 31 seconds. Average heart rate, 134. Uh, so we're gonna keep that heart rate quite low. Felt a little bit of tightness in my glutes on that one. And uh, starting to feel the tightness in the calves now. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because I ate a lot for dinner, so it was just like getting around my body, but we'll see you now heading into into the later night ones. So just about to foam roll, have my little stretch, then gonna sit with the missus, put a film on, uh, try and just relax until the 12 o'clock run, and then it'll probably be after the 12 o'clock run. Uh, I'll try and get a little bit of sleep before well, I again at 4am. But we've got this. Heading into night one, let's stay strong, let's keep going. My guys, I'm having to whisper. It's just got 12. I'm about to go one for number four. Okay, so I'll see you when I get back. Right, let's go. So guys, there we have run number four completed. Um, just finished it then. So that was 39 minutes, 43 seconds. Um, average pace of 6.09 per kilometer. Average heart rate of 133. Felt much better during that run. And again, still having to be quiet because it's currently, um, it's currently 0 0.44. So everyone's in bed. I'm gonna go and try and get a couple of hours of sleep now. Get a quick shower. Get probably two, two and a half hours of sleep, hopefully before um, the four o'clock run, and then ready for the next day. Really enjoying this so far, so big smile on my face. Let's keep going. I'm about to head out on run number five. Um, it's 47 minutes 23 seconds um, average pace of 7 minutes 21 per kilometre average heart rate of 120 so again it's still not challenging for my heart rate but I'm just hoping that these um, these little nickels that we've got maybe my legs will wake up a little bit more for the 8 o'clock run so um, I'm probably going to try and wake up around 20 past 7 and do a good warm up to get myself set uh, for the eight o'clock run and then heading into the day. This is a uh, home stretch now, this is where it starts getting tough. This is where we see what the mind is made of. So I get changed and back into bed. Right, so I just got back off run number six. So at the halfway point now, um, as you can start, probably tell by the sound of my voice, I've got quite low energy. <laughs> um, I just didn't have an appetite through the night to be able to get as many calories in as I was burning. So I feel like it's caught up with me quite a bit this morning. Um, 
as you feel a bit hungry and all. So I'll probably try and get some breakfast in a minute, maybe a big bowl of porridge or some cereal, just something that, um, just anything to get some calories in me. So uh, that last run was uh, four miles, average pace 7.59 per kilometer. Moving time, 51 minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, average heart rate of 112 beats per minute. Um, so that's, yeah, about, I, I was planning on just power walking it when I got off to bed this morning. I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna walk. Um, I, I was just thinking, like, I had like, you know, goggins in my head of who's gonna carry the boats, who's gonna carry the logs. Let's see what I've got in me. So I ran as much as I could, but I got like a little bit of a trap nerve in, a, in my glute now, which was causing like, it was basically giving me a dead leg. So my leg just wasn't straightening when I was running, um, or it wasn't bending. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work on that now, see if I can dig deep and get rid of possibly if it's a knot or a trap nerve, whatever. But we've got six, um, six runs left to go. And it's all gonna be in the mind. It's mind over matter now, just about pushing that extra bit, digging deep into that cookie jar and seeing how far we can go. Right, let's get a little bit of stretching in and let's get some food. <coughs> so I'm just getting ready to go out on run number seven. <coughs> um, I feel like I caught up on, on a lot of my sleep and a lot of my nutrition that I missed out of last night. So I'm gonna hopefully get a bit of a better pace on this run. Um, my glutes are falling all the out, I feel like quite a bit better, but we'll see how it holds when I start running. Right, just gonna get a last little uh, sip of water and then I'll head off and get going. Still smiling. Uh, this will be number seven, not long left now. Let's keep going. Right, so I've just got back off run number seven. Um, feeling so much better now. It's a, it's a nice day. It's not, it's like the sun's out, but it's not too sunny. Um, nice and cool. Perfect running weather, in my opinion. Uh, and it's recorded my second fastest four miles of the challenge, which seven runs in is actually faster than me first run yesterday, which I'm really happy about. Uh, the niggle in my glutes is gone. Um, calf pain's hardly there, and I feel like a, a lot more stronger in my knees now as well. Um, it probably was just from the lack of sleep needed to, to wake my body up a bit and get some get some food in me. Uh, so that was uh, four miles, average pace of 5.55 per kilometre. Uh, time was 38 minutes and six seconds. Uh, average heart rate 137 beats per minute and calories 514. So again, keeping that heart rate low, felt so much quicker. Uh, next run at four o'clock, uh, my little sister's gonna be joining me, she's gonna be on the bike, so we'll get some action shots of me actually running as well, because so far you've just seen the inside of the house pretty much. Um, so, gonna have some food now, refuel, um, stay hydrated, get a shower, just chill for a few hours, just enjoy the day pretty much, um, relax my mind a little bit, and then we'll go back out at four o'clock. And then it's pretty much the home stretch then. Uh, five runs left now, so let's crack and I get it done. That's one of the things about the challenge as well, the amount of washing that you end up with. Luckily got all of my kit squared away, so put that on. Look at that. Mrs. just made um was a bagel thin, smoked salmon and two poached eggs with a little bit of uh, chili flakes on the top. The refeed begins. Completed. Uh, just got my little brother and sister to come with me on the bikes. A little bit of model support. Um, Lee 
you know, brother will be back for the eight o'clock run as well, which will be good. Um, to have some more support as it's getting dark and as I mentioned my last uh, last few runs as well. So that was uh, four miles average pace, six minutes, uh, six minutes twenty four per kilometer. Uh, time 41 minutes 14 seconds, average heart rate 151. I think that spiked heart rate just because I was talking for the entire time, but uh, still in good spirits. The sun's out, it was a lovely day. Luckily, during this challenge, the weather's, weather has stayed nice. Um, so, yeah, gonna chill for a few hours now and then we'll crack on with it at 8 o'clock. We are literally on the home stretch now, so close to the finish. It's just, I'm in that, uh, that perpetual motion now, just constantly moving, just, just getting it done. I'm in my routine, not long to go. Right, so I've just got back off my 8 o'clock run, not long ago. Um, that was a, a slower pace, um, 7 minutes 10 per kilometre. 46 minutes 12 seconds um, total time, average heart rate of 125 beats per minute. Uh, as you saw as well, he had a little brother with me again, uh, just for a bit of support. Again, does just mix it up rather than, than running with yourself. Um, it's quite difficult as to, as to this point because it does get repetitive, but that's what the challenge is. It's the repetition of different times. and. I'm getting ready now to go into like my second night shift pretty much. I've only got three runs left, um, which I'm happy about, but this is the part that, that I struggle with now is that this midnight run, this is where you see what you're made of, it's the midnight run, and then the four in the morning, I feel like will be a little bit better this time, obviously knowing that I've got eight o'clock as my last run, but I'm so close to the finish, but it's, it is still 12 miles to go. So, just got to uh, get the last three, three done with a smile on my face and I'll be there before I know it. But it's probably going to try and catch like, a little bit of a half an hour nap now. Um, either that or I'll just like, relax for a little bit and then get ready to go out on the midnight run. Right guys, so we're about to go on uh, the midnight peg. Um, I've messed up my nutrition somewhere. pretty much laying in bed with pains in my stomach um, and a headache. Not um, not in a good way. Um, I did like throw up slightly on my last run, um, which didn't disclose the time, I didn't think much of it. Yeah, it's hit me hard now, so I'm kind of to play and catch up, just trying to make sure I'm staying hydrated. Um, so I'm going to turn this run into a power walk. I'm going to aim to get it done in under an hour. Um, and then hopefully my stomach issues will have subsided by the time we go on uh, the 0400 run. And then it's just the 0800 left. Um, so I'm just going to get it done now. Hopefully we have no issues, but it's going to add some time. I wasn't planning on walking, but just have to do it double time. Right, let's get going with it. Right guys, so we've just got back off the, uh, the midnight, night two. Um, yeah, just at, at a walk here. The stomach's feeling a lot better now. I feel like I've shook out whatever it was a little bit, but it wasn't pleasant for the hours before. I feel like if I would have tried to run it, probably was some more damage that I could have risked. We finishing even the last two runs. Um, I'm just trying to stay hydrated now between this and the next one. And yeah, uh, one hour and eight minutes of walking and freezing cold. I'm not going to bother putting the pacings in or anything like that. Yeah, you can run, you can walk, but as long as you don't stop, we're going to keep going. We've just got back from run 11 of 12. Um, as you can see, I'm really, really tired now. Um, my stomach's still not been the best. And it feels really empty, but I don't have much of an appetite to eat. We've got Snickers to refuel, so hopefully that gives me a little bit of energy. I'm gonna try and get a nap now before the final eight o'clock run. Um, 
But yeah, that was more of a walk, that one, like an hour, 22 minutes, I think it was. My feet have swollen up so much now, it's struggling to fit into my running shoes. So I'm gonna go and get um, as much rest as I can before this, this final leg. We are almost there. So guys, this is it. Eight o'clock, Sunday the seventh of March. This is my last run of water for my 48 challenge. It's swollen and blistered. Tire legs, no body sore. My body's still cold. Unless I can't seem to get warm. But the end is in sight. This is the last four miles. Just one mile left. Slow pace, but we're still going. Let's get it. Not far to Bernard Castle. There we have it, guys. Just finished. Uh, the final four miles in 53 minutes. 55 seconds, average pace of 13.26 per mile, which I'm happy with. Um, considering how dehydrated I am, you can probably hear that cognitively. I'm not all there at the minute from lack of sleep. Bad stomach last night, right through the night struggling to sleep. But it doesn't matter what you're going through, there is an end on the other side. You've just got to keep going. One foot in front of the other. It's like if I would have seen this as 12, 4 miles, it's like 14 miles in total. Would have been a lot more difficult to do, so I broke it down. And I just took each stage as it came. My only run was the next run. My only run was the one that was the one that I was about to go on. So just worry about what's in your, your immediate instead of everything that's in the future, you know. As I've said before, um, anxiety only makes you suffer twice. So if you're worrying about something before it even happens, then it's just a lot more pain than you need. But I still got a smile on my face just about. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this off now. I'm going to go and get some food and get some sleep. And then when I'm a little bit more mentally coherent, I'm going to check back in with just a little bit later yeah, just to close this video out right I'm going to bed peace so guys there we have it the 4x4x48 challenge um, it's currently Monday the 8th of March so I finished the challenge at 8 o'clock yesterday morning and it's currently around 7 o'clock the following evening I've caught up on sleep I've caught up on my calories and uh, what a great weekend it was. It was tough, but I learned a lot about myself during that time. Definitely, if anyone's thinking about doing it, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Um, also, again, this was for a good cause in the Light Body Health Foundation. So if you do have any spare cash to donate, I'll leave the link in the description below. So please donate what you can. Remember to like, subscribe, and always keep that PMA. Peace.